Hello, hi Rajiv Ji, Kamal from Merasangeet.com and a warm welcome to you on our show Chat and Chai. Uh, hi Kamal Ji, Pranam, how are you? Very well, thank you Rajiv Ji, Pranam to you as well. We, uh, like always, uh, have a lot of queries sent in by our listeners here. But I'm sure today you would like to share something uh, with our listeners. Um, yeah, I had a, uh, a quick comment I have posted on um, my blog on immigration.com. There was a ruling um, last week from a district court, a federal court in Washington, D.C., which basically said that the 17-month extension program, which USCIS had enacted back in, um, I think, 2008, was done in violation of the procedural requirements of the law. So that regulation, the 2008 regulation, uh, is no longer going to be valid. So that discussion, a short excerpt from the court's judgment is there. People have asked me questions like, should we be applying, as you see that there are some comments on our forums, uh, as well as on my, my Twitter account. There are a bunch of questions about uh, what should we be doing. And I'm saying you should go on with business as usual. Um, because government has two options. One option is to just redo the regulations. And another option is because it is a ruling from a district court, I think, this is my belief, the government can uh -huh. choose to ignore this ruling. They can choose okay. to say, we don't, we don't buy this. And uh, so one of... Um, um, one of the Twitter community members had asked me, if we ignore the ruling, would the judgment become ineffective? Uh, and can USCIS ignore the judgment? And the answer is yes, because USCIS, I think, I haven't really uh, spent a lot of time researching this issue, but my, my memory serves, if my memory serves correctly, back since 1993, it has been the position of the government that we are not bound to the ruling in a particular case from a district court, except in that case only. So if, if I sue the government over something I, and I win the case, I would win, but somebody else who wants to file on the same legal point cannot expect that they've already won the case because I won the case. So in other words, government can choose to confine the ruling to the facts of that case okay and if they do that then effectively for everyone else that ruling does not exist it's a zero entity so let's see how what they do um, I, they have people devoted full time to researching the legal aspects of this matter uh, either they can redo the regulations which is also not impossible or i think they can ignore and I have a feeling that's what they might end up doing. So just to inform the community, that's where we are at. You should not stop applying for your 17-month uh, extensions, but keep an eye out on this issue and see how it plays out. Every other Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we host um, free community conference calls. Everybody is welcome to join. Some people post questions ahead of time. You can take membership in our forums. Uh, all of the details are there on our website, immigration.com. You can take membership uh, ahead of time. And, um, you know, it's instantaneous. It happens right away. And post your questions beforehand. Or you can just log in. Uh, the phone number in all are provided, 202-800-8394, 1230 Eastern Standard Time, every other Thursday. We have uh, free apps for both Apple iOS platform for your iPhones and iPads as well as for Android. Just look for immigration.com, immigration.com, the period dot, and uh, the application should show up.